I, I always found it quite magical coming over here. It's special, you know. You, you go all over the world, people know this place. Throughout, you know, the years and the decades, I've always remembered the Ron Park. I love my ashes scattered here, probably. It's, it's, it's one of those places that's just, it's just part of who I am, really. As soon as you look out the door, there's a pool. Tough, scary bastard of a pool. Which has been consciously designed, I think, on the back garden pool of an American film star. Jesus Christ, look at that, you know, like... In cultural terms, that's absolutely extraordinary when you think about it. You know, you, you go in and you think, right, I'm just going to go in here easy today because I know it's took a lot of victims. They're always so cool. You just go in there and you're just fighting these walls and you just think, oh, let me go. You go to other places and the skaters are like, hey, it's, it's our place. Skaters only. Rom was never like that. There's less judgmental people at a skate park than there is in a the church. There's a real, real mixture of so many different types of people. Pretty, um, I'd say, peaceful, if you like. Guys there that could just skate. People come over and they, they just get on. I actually think about the people that are sort of there every Sunday and they kind of act like the maitre d' of a, you know, a nice restaurant. They welcome you in and show you where to go a little bit. Blokes who, who make the place. If you come here and you're not scared of it, you're an idiot. Because you're going to get hurt. Skateboard has never come easy to me. I've knocked myself out, knocked my teeth out. Oh, broke my hand, broke my elbow, yeah. foot, heart, oh, many occasions. Knee, knee surgeries and bad shoulder and low back and stuff like that. I'm, I'm hanging in there. I've had nine knee surgeries. I've got severe arthritis in both knees. I ride three or four times a week and then I'm hobbling everywhere. And I'm 45 years old. Just putting on weight. I was in a sales job. They just told me, yeah, you have got um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is like a really bad one. And I thought, you know, I've got to try and live again. I lost my mum young. First thing I'd done, two hours after like, her dying in the hospital, was come here. Like, I didn't want to be at home with my family. I wanted to be here with my family, because people just kind of let you get on with it. So Rom today, I think, is as much them as it is the, the kind of the architecture of the skate park. Hi, Barney. This, this is my first time and that's been forever. And I never, ever get bored of walking through the door. I remember walking here for the first time and just like, wow, like, darling, gone to heaven. And I've been in heaven ever since on and off, you know? <laughs>